Hello, bonjour, guinoa, minoa. Welcome back to Ojibwe Language Table with West Jordan. Lesson number 43. And this week we are still on On the Ajayan, part four. Where are you going? Uh, locations. Uh, this week we're going to negate these uh, answers. And uh, we'll see, we'll get into a little bit about how that format's gonna work here in just a little bit. Uh, we always start with our self introduction. Anin buju kinawiya. Anin buju nindinawe magani dog. Buju anin. I don't know what else you could say. Nishinabe dog. Western indigenous cause. Kitigapa nesi indigo. Nagizin in do dem, Musqua Gummiwi, Zagai Gunning in Doon Jaba, O Ga Conning, Gaye, Ga Asinita Cogninda, Oma Nungum. All right, so that's our self intro. If you ever want to go back and learn your self introduction, go back to lesson number one, lesson number two, number three, and I think number four, and then there's another. Lesson in between all of my lessons where we review all one through five. I think that's our self introduction. So, need help with that? That's uh, one of the most important things when uh, language learning is to learn how to introduce yourself to someone else. All right, so let's get started. Ani na pi, when, wa, future tense, a giant, you going. And then you insert your location, and that is your question. We're going to see examples of that. Negated form, we're going to go into gawin plus your verb, followed by C. Okay, so that's that's your uh, pattern for not. Ni is me or I. We, future tense, I will or want to or going to, I'm going to. Ija, she or he goes to a certain place. Um, we're using our, our uh, days. Our, we're talking about tomorrow. Wabung. Awaswabung, the day after tomorrow. Gichi awaswabung, a couple days after tomorrow. Or it could mean a few days, could be four days, could be five days. Anything in the future like that, get you a waswabung a couple days after tomorrow. All right, so here we go. Starting off with our first one. Anina pi wa jayan udena. Anina pi wa jayan udena. When are you going to town? And to tell someone you're not going to town in the day that you're not going to go, you can say gawin wabung. Niwi is Rasi Udena. Gawin Wabung, Niwi is Rasi Udena. I'm not going to town tomorrow. Okay, notice in uh, lesson number 42, I flipped this around and I would have said, Gawin Niwi is Rasi Udena Wabung. Okay, that's another way that you could say it. Uh, the second way you can say it is Gawin Wabung. Um, however you prefer to say that response, it's totally up to you. It's, I would uh, double check with your elders in your community and just to make sure that you are saying that correctly. But um, for the sake of the show today, we're going to use it this way. We're going to use our Gawin. Here's our, our pattern, Gawin. And there's C way over here, going C. That means it's negated. Wabung, talking about tomorrow. Ni we, I will or want to or I'm going to. Eja, she or he is going to a certain place. And then you tell where that certain place is in this instance. We're talking about Udenang, talking about town. See? So, going Wabung, ni we, Eja, si Udenang. I'm not going to town tomorrow. Gawin waswabang niwi jasi udenang. 
Dawina was wabang ni weyajasi udenang. I'm not going to town the day after tomorrow. And we have Gawin Gitchia was wabang ni weyajasi udenang. Gawin Gitchia was wabang ni weyajasi udenang. I'm not going to town a couple days after tomorrow. So this is um, examples of using future tense like we did in lesson number 41 when we gave uh, a date, gave the, the time. So Anina Piwa Jaino Deinang, when are you going to go to town? Gawin Gichi Awaswabang Ni Weyajasi Udeinang. I'm not going to go to town uh, a couple days after tomorrow. Hmm. All right, we're just going to keep going. Ani na pi wa jain ge kino ma de we gumi gung. Ani na pi wa jain ge kino ma de we gumi gung. When are you going to the school? And if you're not going to go to the school tomorrow, you would say Gawin wa bang ni we jasi ge kino ma de we gumi gung. Gawin wa bang ni we jasi ge kino ma de we gumi gung. To go tomorrow to the school. Gawin was wabam ni we ajasi ge kino ma de we gumi gung. Gawin was wabam ni we ajasi ge kino ma de we gumi gung. I am not going to the school the day after tomorrow. If someone asks you that, are you going to go the day after tomorrow? Gawin was wabam ni we ajasi ge kino ma de we gumi gung. Gonna go the day after tomorrow. And our last one, Gawin get you a waswabung ni we ajasi get kino mandi we gummy gung. Gawin get you a waswabung ni we ajasi get kino mandi we gummy gung. I am not going to the school a couple days after tomorrow. Couple, a few, uh, however many days you are not gonna go after more. All right, moving along, we have Anina Piwa Jain Adawe with Gummy Gung. Anina Piwa Jain Adawe with Gummy Gung. When are you going to go to the store? When are you going to the store? Gawin Wabung Niwi Ajasi Adawe with Gummy Gung. Gawin Wabung Niwi Ajasi Adawe with Gummy Gung. I am not going to the store tomorrow. Gawin a waswabang ni we ajasi a dawe we gummy gung. Gawin a waswabang ni we ajasi a dawe we gummy gung. I am not going to the store the day after tomorrow. So as you can see, we have a waswabang the day after tomorrow. This kind of gets flip flop around in there. Remember, we're just listening. We weni bizin dun. We weni bizin the muk. Watching. And um, speaking, repeating after me. And uh, eventually, after you put all three of these together, you should be able to uh, either read them and write them um, after some practice. So. Gawin na waswabang ni we jasi adawe we gumi gung. I'm not going to the store the day after tomorrow. And our last practice word we're going to work with. Gawin gichi a waswabang ni we jasi adawe we gumi gung. Gawin gichi a waswabang ni we jasi adawe we gumi gung. I am not going to the store a couple days after tomorrow. And, um, I, I guess you wouldn't really talk in in this kind of like context. You someone asks you, I need a piwa jain and dawe with gummy gung. When are you gonna go to the store? You can just say, uh gawin ni we jasi um wabam. That'd be it. I'm not gonna go tomorrow. Or you can say gawin a waswabang ni we jasi. You don't necessarily have to say um, 
a dolly, we go, we go every single time. You can just say that you're not gonna go. Okay. So however you prefer how to speak, that's your that's your prerogative. Okay, it's up to you. Bushke again, bushke again, oh ah. Anina pi wa jayan we sini we gummy gung. Anina pi wa jayan we sini we gummy gung. When are you going to the restaurant? And a response could be, Gawin wa bang ni we jasi we sini we gummy gung. Gawin wa bang ni I'm not going to the restaurant tomorrow. I'm not going to the restaurant the day after tomorrow. And our last response to that, going get you a waswabang, ni we a jasi, we sent you with gummy gung. Going get you a waswabang, ni we a jasi, we sent you with gummy gung. I'm not going to the restaurant a couple days after tomorrow. Okay, again, you don't have to throw we sent you with gummy gung in there. You can just say, going get you a waswabang, ni we a jasi, I'm not going to go uh, in a couple days. Or, you know, someone might ask you, you going to go to the restaurant tomorrow? Gawin wabang ni we jasi. That's all you can say. And um, you can just leave it at that. Okay. Again, it's up to you. Moving along. Ani na pi wa jayan mazanai gani we gummy gung. Ani na pi wa jayan mazanai gani we gummy gung. When are you going to the post office? Gawin wabang ni we jasi. Okay, you can just leave it at that. Gawin wabang ni we jasi. I'm not going to go tomorrow. Or if you want to practice your uh, um, adding on to language, adding a little bit here and there, you can mention the location. Okay, gawin wabang ni we jasi mazanai gana wa gummy gum. And uh, practice uh, saying these out loud. Practice them in your head, practice reading them, practice saying them. You know, the, the more you practice, the better you get at it. Uh, to uh, a second language learner, um, this could be tough. Could be a tough uh, tongue twister. It could be, uh, man, I don't know how to say this, but you know what, you break this down. Gawin wabang ni weajasi. If that's all you want to say, practice it that way. You want to add a little bit to it? Go ahead and say the location in your response. Gawin wabang ni weajasi mazanai gani we gummy gung. I'm not going to the post office tomorrow. Or you can say gawin nongam ni weajasi mazanai gani we gummy gung. I'm not going to the post office today. Yeah, I should have added that in this lesson, but that's fine. You can uh, play around with these um, times of day. You can go waswabang, itchia waswabang. In the next episode, we're going to talk about uh, a wasanago, bijinago, wasanago, itchia wasanago in the next lesson. You know, maybe I'll add nungam because we can say, um, I'm not going to go today um, in any one of these uh, lessons. So, gawin waswabang ni we jasi, masanai ganing, we gumigung. I'm not going to go to the post office the day after tomorrow. And our third response, and just to get an idea of a flow of uh, seeing these different ways to respond, we can say, Gawain, get you a waswabang, ni we ajasi, mazanai gani, we gummy gung. I'm not going to the post office a couple days after tomorrow. Gawain, get you a waswabang, ni we ajasi, Mazanai gani we gummy gung. All right, so we're getting down there. I think we have like four left. Hang in there, and uh, repeat after me. Anina pi wa jayan zaka sway di we gummy gung. Anina pi wa jayan zaka sway di we gummy gung. When are you going to the council or the place where they meet? Zaka sway idi. Zaka sway. So this way, D. 
So I can sway the gummy gong. Kind of flows a little bit better when you slow it down. I need a piwa giant. So I can sway the gummy gong. Gawin wabang ni we jasi. All right, that's your, that could be your response. Gawin wabang ni we jasi. And you can add location. So I can sway the we gummy gong. I'm not going to the council tomorrow. Now we know what's wabang, ni we jasi, zagaswe, di we gummy gong. Now we know what's wabang, ni we jasi, zagaswe, di we gummy gong. I'm not going to the council the day after tomorrow. And the third response, Gawain, get you a was wabang, ni we jasi, zagaswe, di we gummy gong. Gawain, get you a was wabang, ni we jasi, zagaswe, di we gummy gong. Not going to the council a couple days after tomorrow. Or you can say Gawin ni we jasi get you uh let me let me do this again. Gawin ni we ja ni we jasi zagaswe idi we gummy gong get you a waswaba. Okay, you can put this uh time of day or what day you're talking about at the end too. Gawin ni we jasi zagaswe di we gummy gong get you a waswamo. However, you want to put that flip flop. Practice with both of them. Um, kind of get the feel of saying them both because uh, either one you say, a first language speaker is going to uh, understand what you're talking about. So. I need a piwa giant agendasu we gumming. Anina P wa Jayan Agendasu we gummy gong. When are you going to the library? Okay, Agendasu means uh, she or he reads or she or he counts. Uh, we gummy is the, the building, the structure. Ung is your, lo your locative, making it your location. And then our question form is in the front. Anina P, what time? Wa, future tense. Ija. Sure, he goes to a certain place. Yun is you. Talking about you. When are you going to the library? Gawin wabang ni we jasi agendasu we gummy gong. Gawin wabang ni we jasi agendasu we gummy gong. I'm not going to the library tomorrow. Gawin a waswabang ni we jasi agendasa we gummy gong. Gawin a waswabang ni we jasi agendasa we gummy gong. I'm not going to the library the day after tomorrow. Gawin gichi a waswabang ni we indejasi agendasa we gummy gong. Gawin, get you a waswabam, ni we in the jasi, a gindasu, we gummy gong. I'm not going to the library a couple days after tomorrow. So notice we have a double O. Okay, so our, our root word, our, our, uh, our verb is a gindasu, a gindasu with just one O. Our other O is our connector, connects us to the structure. Okay, agendasu changes from agendasu. We add another O, so it's going to sound like agendasu we gummy gong. And depending on how your flow is, depending on um, your dialect or how you you want to interpret that, how you want to say that, sometimes it just sounds like agendasu we gummy gong. Still sounds like short O, but it also sounds like double O U. Agendasu we gummy gong. You say it fast enough, but Ujibwe language is not a race. Take your time. That's where you develop your own uh, your in way when your sound giwaywin giway giwaywin. How do you say that? Your sound. You develop your sound the more you, you practice and the more you speak. Okay, hey, looks like we have uh, three left. Anin, a P, wa, a giant, get you a da way, we come and go. 
you want to ask this in question form. Sometimes we get caught up in uh, reading and then responding. And uh, I, sometimes I tend to for, forget to, to ask in question form. So it, it would sound like this. You're going to go up to someone, you're going to ask them, I need a pee while I'm going get you a dawi with gummy gum. Maybe your hands are out. Maybe you're asking the question. Um, maybe you're signaling with your lips. You're pointing around and maybe the mall is over that way. I need a pee while I'm going get you a dawi with gummy gum. When are you going to go to the mall? I'm not going to the mall tomorrow. Notice a dawe, she or he buys things. Gummik is the building where they buy things. A gichi makes it big, makes it giant, makes it enormous. I don't know if you can say that, but Gitchi makes it the big building where you uh, buy things, which is a mall. I'm not going to the mall the day after tomorrow. And our last one, Gitchi. Gawin, Gitchi, Awaswabang. Alright, that one's a little tongue twister. Try it again. Gawin get you a was wabung ni we a jasi get you a dawe we gummy gum. I'm not going to the mall a couple days after tomorrow. Um then I have a typo on here. I'm human, I make mistakes. This should say Zaga igunning. Hey, Anina P. Wa Jayan, Zaga igunning. So close your eyes, imagine that says Zaga igunning there. When are you going to the lake? Gawin Wabang, Niwi Ajasi, Zaga igunning. Gawin Wabang, Niwi Ajasi, Zaga igunning. I'm not going to the lake tomorrow. Gawin was Wabang, Niwi Ajasi, Zaga igunning. I'm not going to the lake the day after tomorrow. And our final one. Gawin gitchia waswabang niwe jasi zagai gunning. Magaja Ganabudja Gawin. Niwi Ajasi Zagai Gunning Gitchi Awaswaba. Perhaps you could say it that way too. I'm not going to the lake a couple days after tomorrow. Gawi Niwi Ajasi Zagai Gunning Gitchi Awaswaba. And our last one of our episode for today Anina Piwa Jayan Zibing. Anina Piwa Jayan Zibing. When are you going to the river? Made a mistake in our last episode, uh, 42, lesson 42. I only included one eye. But remember, Zibi, with one eye, Zibi is the river. I is the connector. NG is our locative, makes it the location. So it's where the river is at the river. Uh, at the river, on the river, by the river. I don't know if that's different, but. I need a pee while giant zebing. Gawin wabang ni we ajasi zebing. I'm not going to the river tomorrow. Gawin ni we ajasi zebing wabang. Sounds a little Englishy putting it that way, but however you want to do it. Gawin awas wabang ni we ajasi zebing. Gawin awas wabang ni we ajasi zebing. I'm not going to the river the day after tomorrow. And the final one, final, final one. Gawin, kichi awaswabang ni wiyajasi zibing. Or, gawin ni wiyajasi zibing, kichi awaswabang. I'm not going to the river a couple days after tomorrow. And that will complete our lesson number 43. 
Miigwech, uh, Bizendaw Yeg. Remember, our root word is Bizendaw. She or he listens. Bizendaw Yeg. Use, listen. Minawa, Miigwech ki, gonna waban the Meg. Gonna waban the Meg means to watch. He is again uh, past tense. So we have Miigwech Bizendaw Yeg. Minawa, Miigwech ki, gonna waban the Meg. Thank yous for listening. And thank yous for watching. Gigawabamin, minawa. Telling one person, I will see you again. And we add inim to gigawabamin, which makes it plural. More than one person. Gigawabamin and him, minawa. I will see yous again. Ahabama pi. Gigawabamin and him, minawa. Ayangwamaziok. Ahau.